Okay. Um, which of the following is the most likely explanation for this child's difficulties? We have um, autism spectrum disorder, early childhood trauma, infant deprivation, intellectual disability, or selective mutism. So we've got a three-year-old boy brought to the pediatrician by his adoptive parents who adopted him six months ago from an orphanage in another country. Um, they report that he has been having difficulty forming attachments with them and appears often withdrawn. The child also has delayed language development and struggles with eating solid foods. Um, I mean, we've got a kid in an orphanage, and especially an orphanage in a foreign country. The chances of having a positive caretaker during that time is very low, especially like so long term, like two and a half years of some sort of child neglect or deprivation um, really falls along the lines of infant deprivation. It also tracks with why he's withdrawn. Um, he's from another country, so delayed language development could be normal unless they're saying it's delayed language development in his own language it's still normal i would go with infant deprivation final answer yeah yeah beautiful right so you're putting everything together right i think a lot of people that will look at this might pick autism right they might pick you know intellectual disability because you're trying to pick one sentence and pick it to a disease diagnosis right so mm -hmm. here right you did a great job right figuring out that you know adopted right from another country right difficulty forming attachments and appear withdrawn, delayed in language and struggling with eating food. So you're putting all this together and it's just likely, you know, infant deprivation from kind of his past, right? Being an orphan, et cetera, right? Putting all that together and also, you know, difficulty forming attachments, it all makes sense, right? So all of these symptoms kind of help you pick infant deprivation, but I would say that a lot of people that if they're, you're trying to take one sentence and pick it with a disease diagnosis, you can be tricked up um, with autism or, you know, intellectual disability or even mutism, right? So for sure.